Hey there, everyone. This is just meant to be a quick down dirty guide on how to get Project Quorum set up and uh, get maps and everything through Quorum Tool. So uh, the first thing you'll do is go to projectquorum.com and you're going to hit the server files here. This should give you the most recent server files with Zeal. Uh, Zeal is like a back end application that plugs right into the main TACP client and it gives you uh, a lot of new options such as a camera fix and a lot of more data options and, and stuff. It's really cool. You should definitely have it. Um, once you've downloaded this, you're going to pull it into a folder. So I have mine pulled up uh, into just this regular in my games uh, folder. I have a uh, quorum. And then I've got my TACP client here. This is sh should be the one that you see. Uh, and this little guy is going to have a download for all of the most up-to-date Zeal uh, usages. If you want to, you can go here to uh, I am Clint Zeal releases, and you can download the most recent updates. Uh, you will have to keep Zeal up-to-date. You can monitor the deal Zeal discussions channel in the Discord, um, which I guess I can show if we... Uh, go here, Zeal Discussions. You can just monitor this channel for all sorts of uh, updates and, and communications and stuff about Zeal. Um, so in addition to that, once we have this going, uh, I could go into the TACP client. I could go in here and hit E, go down to EQ, and find my EQ game, and I can just run this. Uh, if you run that, it's going to pull up the launcher. You go ahead and log in and you can play. Uh, but you don't have any additional tools, right? There's no map in the in the Quorum client, and there's a lot of other cool things as well uh, that you can get using Quorum Tool. So Quorum Tool is going to, this is going to be the one EJ Wellman. Um, you can also find that inside of the, where is it? Open source discussion. Uh, a lot of information about Quorum Tool is going to be in here. Um, so You'll just download, you know, the Quorum tool from here, quormtool.zip. And when you do that, uh, you can create uh, a, a separate folder. So don't put it inside your TACP folder. Put it somewhere completely different. Uh, and you're going to want to create something basically like this. Uh, so this will be, you'll have the quormtool.exe and a couple of other little files. Uh, whenever you get that, just go ahead and double click on Quorum tool. And it's going to load up. So with Quorum Tool, uh, you don't have to worry about things like logging in with your character or anything like that. It reads your log file, uh, so you will have to enable your log file. Um, but you have lots of different tools that you can use. So for example here, um, if I go and look at my Quorum Tool settings, which I can do by right-clicking and hit Settings, um, you can see I've got my character here. Uh, I did go ahead and put the path to that uh, tack P folder. Um, and then one thing to make sure is to enable zeal. Uh, and also if you want the map, you need to make sure that you update via zeal. This will ensure that zeal, uh, is feeding data into quorum tool. And it's also going to ensure that like being able to update your map is going to happen automatically. Uh, now it's kind of hard to see all of this stuff, uh, here because I have it, you know, situated just so for my game. Uh, but the different tools are going to be, you've got your information here that updates. It's just to keep track of how much uh, damage your spells are doing, you know, uh, different things like that. Um, I don't know. Is, is I think that's what it does. I'm just making that up. You can also modify your font size here if you want it to be bigger or smaller. And you can lock a an outlay, uh, an overlay on a certain character. So if you want to modify where everything is for one of your characters as opposed to another, you can lock to that character and that's going to allow you to do so. Um, now the damage window is going to be this little DPS meter over here. This is basically just going to give you DPS information about your all time and then your current session. Uh, you can drag it larger and there's actually like quite a lot of information down here while you're playing. Uh, it gives you like a per battle stat, uh, but I don't need all that information. You also have the mob window. So the mob window is really cool. It's kind of hard to, to visualize what it does here. 
uh, but it would normally be much larger and it will give you the name, the race, the level, what class, uh, every single monster is in the game. So all you have to do is click on that monster and you'll get a bunch of really cool stats about them. This is really good for soloing and for grouping. You can see loot tables. Uh, you can even click on links and you can gain access to, you know, oh, I, I see this rare item. What is it? Click and it'll open the database and actually give you all the information. Or if you click on a character uh, or a mob type, it will actually pull up the database entry for that mob type, and you can do a little more research, like uh, knowing where they spawn, what zones they're in, things of that nature. Um, so next we have, and of course, if you're going to do that, make sure you're updating via Zeal. This is going to uh, basically pull data for the zone for you so that all of this mob information can come through. Uh, with the triggers, there's a lot of pre-built ones. So this is stuff like, for example, if your root breaks, you're going to get a on-screen uh, element, and you're also going to get um, an audio cue, depending on what you select here. Um, and there are lots of uh, lots of them here. This actually comes up through this little red dot. So uh, when you see that little red dot on your screen, you can modify the size, you can modify the location. Um, but this is a really cool uh, option here. I, I have a lot of custom triggers set up. Um, this is basically, you know, as you are playing, uh, it's a replacement for stuff like Nag or Gina uh, or any other parser tools that you might use for EQ. And you can set up tons of different custom triggers, uh, all of them with both text-based and audio. Um, if you want those triggers to be on top or you want to be able to see them, obviously you would want to select this little always stay on top. But this element does not get in the way. It's actually incredibly well uh, hidden. So I would say these the custom triggers are exceptional and you should certainly use them. As far as timers, this is where the self and enemy come in right here. Uh, so I have a couple of timers here and one of them is also my friends. This allows me to... Um, take advantage of things like, so with the enemy one, I want to see spells and I want the system to guess what spells are being cast, but only on NPCs. So this allows me to see, you know, with my warlock, when I put a dot on an enemy, I can see when that dot gets put on the enemy and I can see how much longer it lasts as long as it lasts the full duration. Uh, same thing with friends and same things with self. It allows me to better keep track of when I need to rebuff, uh, when I need to recast things like fear or dots. And it's just really, really good. Um, obviously, you know, sometimes like a character or a mob will die and you'll still have some lingering effects, um, but you can very easily clear those with a little clear button that will pop up inside that screen. And then with the map itself, um, you know, you can choose to have it up top. The kill timers is going to give you, uh, when you kill a creature, how long it's going to take for that creature to respawn. Uh, be able to actually visibly track other players who are using Inparse or, uh, or Quorm Tool. Um, these little labels, every map in Quorm Tool is labeled. Uh, I can probably show you, kind of. Um, so if you look here, you can see like I've got all the main elements, you know, um, but if I go to put the small labels on and I refresh this, probably by closing it, going down here, going to map and turning it back on, um, that is going to show me all of these little things. So I can see all of the vendors. I can see special spawns. Um, so a lot of great information there. But for me, uh, normally how I use the map, I don't want to see all that. I just want to know where my zone lines are and where I'm currently located. Um, shoot, get off the screen there. Here, I'll just do this because this is a dirty video, okay? Oof. Watch out. Put the Brazzers theme up. So anyway, uh, you can see all the zone lines. You also will get a little icon. It's a green arrow, and it will show you where you're walking on the map. Uh, in, in addition, anyone else who's sharing their location um, being this location share, which you have an option, everyone, guild only, or none, uh, you'll actually be able to see them on the screen as well, uh, walking around. So, you know, ideally, in the ideal world, if everyone had this turned on, you could just know where a camp is and you wouldn't have to ask for somebody to come guide you there. Um, but this map updates automatically every time you zone. Um, and if it doesn't, then you can always come to the general tab and you can change the zone manually here. Um, I've noticed for some alternate zones, sometimes there's a little issue. Uh, but otherwise, if you want to turn on or off tools, yeah, you just right click and you can get access to all of your different stuff to put on the screen. Um, you can then 
you know, put these where you'd like them to be uh, during your play session. My screen is pretty ridiculous um, when it comes down to it, but I use a lot of my screen space just to have all this information readily available to me. I like to be able to see myself on the map. I like to be able to uh, access the different buff and debuff information. So it's really nice for me to have all this here. Uh, and personally, I love it. Uh, so anyways, all you have to do from this point is open up Zeal and then run Quorm and uh, log in and start playing. You should start seeing the data start to populate pretty much immediately. There's not much else to it. As far as updates are concerned, uh, in order to update, you will just have to access the Zeal or the Project uh, Quorm Tool pages. Uh, you'll go and go to the slash releases and you will download these packages that they have, the zips. So for Zeal, you just open up that zip, you go to your TAC P uh, V22 folder, and you just drag it right in there. Um, with Zeal as well, you're going to get uh, an update to your UI. Uh, it's always recommended to use a custom UI. Myself personally, I use Nilipus, um, and you will uh, grab that UI element and put that in your UI folder just to make sure that that UI has all of the Zeal elements. There's like a whole tab just for Zeal. Um, and then for Quorum Tool, basically you download the zip and whatever files are in there, you just put that in your Quorum Tool folder. And hopefully that will get you to a point where you can have maps and everything available in your game too.